Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, March 28th, and it's a cold and wet day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. What are you gonna do? What's that whole April showers, May flowers thing? Of course it's March showers, so I don't know what March showers bring. It was beautiful yesterday. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous day, so. Uh, spring is here, and it's being finicky as always, as early spring always is. I'm smoking a pipe that I'm going to tell you about in a moment. This is a Irish second that I've had for a really long time. And I've got some Pegasus. Along with a uh, nice mug of 8 o'clock coffee. Really been enjoying the Pegasus in the morning. Uh, it's 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 my Carter Hall replacement. I've decided. Not that I'm convinced Carter Hall is not coming back, but just in case, I want to want to have something lined up in Pegasus. So let me tell you a bit about this. Um, this pipe, this is, this is, if, if memory serves, and it may not because it's been a long time, but I think this is the first pipe I bought at a tobacco shop. I, I think this is the, um, you know, I had bought Grabo's, uh, you know, you go into the drug stores back then and there they were. And I, I but this is, I think the first time I, I walked into a tinderbox and bought a pipe. And this is an Irish second, so it's a Peterson uh, second brand. Don't think they make Irish seconds anymore, which is a shame because they were some really, really nice, good smoking pipes. Um, it's got, if, if you take the stem off and look, it does have the system drilling, but it doesn't have the typical system stem. So it pretty much smokes as a normal pipe. You just have to keep that, that, uh, what do they call it? Sump cleaned out on it. Uh, but I like it. I've always enjoyed smoking it. Not a shape I use a lot these days. I'm, I'm much more into straight pipes, but you know, I, I take it out. This is, this is technically my Monday pipe. Well, I was smoking it today because I wanted to show you something. That stem, hopefully you can see the nice black glossy nature of that. I'm trying and couple of new methods of cleaning stems. This thing was horribly oxidized. There. This was one of the pipes that I'm embarrassed to smoke in public because it just was so oxidized and all green up here. And uh, that's a new method of cleaning that, I'm, that I worked out. <clears throat> now it's not, it's not the method I'm going to be using by any stretch. Uh, I also picked up some of this and it just arrived yesterday. Um, from Briarville and Corvette Jim has spoken highly of this. Uh, you can say I haven't used it yet. It's still nice clear yellow liquid, but you just basically drop your stem in that for a while and then you take it out and you wipe it off and it supposedly magically removes the oxidation. There's a problem with that. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I'm no chemist, but I do know what oxidation looks like on the surface of briar well I what it looks like because i've seen it but i also understand chemically what's happening there and how you're going to remove that without removing material is i i don't know how to do that chemically i actually know a lot of chemists i'm a very good chemist and i've asked a couple of them and they tell me that it's just not possible. You know, you, you're just never going to be able to do that. You know, I said, given the choice between some chemical method and sanding off the surface, what would you, and every one of them said, sand off the surface. It's the only way you're going to get rid of the oxidized sulfur. Uh, now, so what, what vulcanite really is, <clears throat> you, you got rubber, which you can think of as these long squiggly, things uh, think of them like like rubber bands you know they're wiggling all over the place and if you, if you pick up a 
bunch of bunch of rubber bands and you, you know you can mold them into a ball or you can you know they're, they're, they're flexible right so you add sulfur now sulfur is a really cool uh looking atom because it can it has six possible bonds so it's got this is that tetrahedral symmetry so you got four coming out and then one up one down i think that's tetra it's been a long long time guys but the point is it can make six possible bonds so you throw in sulfur and you, you apply a little bit of heat and sulfur starts grabbing up these these rubber bands and and each each atom of sulfur can grab onto six of them so you've got this massive cross-linking of the, of the rubber bands that occurs and the more and more that happens the, the tighter and tighter that structure becomes and the less flexible it becomes so in a case like this where it's you know pretty hard uh you got a lot of sulfur that i think it's 30 percent sulfur that's cross-linked into that rubber matrix and that's what's providing the solidity here now that's good but and, and, and by the way there's not any when when people talk about free sulfur it's not like there's atoms of sulfur that have a cross link to anything but there are going to be atoms of sulfur that have not used up all six of their uh potential uh valence electrons so they, they, they got some arms hanging out there waiting to grab something and one of the things that they can grab onto is oxygen um or hydroxyls uh, from from water and one of the things that can catalyze that grabbing onto is ultraviolet light which is in sunlight so if you just leave your stem sit out in the sunlight and there's a little bit of moisture in the air it's going to slowly turn uh, that grayish green color if you smoke it a lot and you put it away and the surface is wet uh, you know saliva and you, you know get some light on it's going to turn that grayish green color that's where it comes from it's not something that you can just wipe away because every one of those sulfur atoms that is grabbing at those those oxygens is all is already anchored in with four or five of its other arms and it can't it, it's not going anywhere because they're covalent bonds so that was a lot of chemistry that probably nobody understood or cared about uh didn't care about because it's boring, didn't understand because I didn't explain it right, but that's the way I think about it. So this, this is supposed to be magic sauce that just somehow strips that away, and I'm looking forward to trying it. Uh, this was a homemade sort of version of this, and I'm not gonna tell you what it is simply because I don't wanna take business away from Briarville. They're a great company. This is not very expensive. It was like, um, I think, $16 for enough to do oh, probably 30 or 40 stems because you can reuse it. So if you're a home pipe repair guy or home restoration guy that's just doing it as a hobby, this is, this is quite reasonable, and I recommend you get it. Uh, this is, like I said, a, a homemade version of it, trying to reverse engineer what was in here prior to getting it. Now... I opened it up yesterday when it first came here and smelled it because that's what that's that's my best chemical analyzer <laughs> and it's not even close to what I thought it was so great minds think on different tracks I suppose anyway it, what I did worked okay I'm gonna try this later today why do I care you know because for years and years what I've been doing is sanding the stem If it's really heavily oxidized, I give it a treatment in bleach. Some folks use OxyClean. They're doing the same thing. They're getting all of that surface free sulfur free, meaning just one or two arms hanging out, and they're oxidizing it. So now you've got a complete surface that, that that's oxidized, and you know you have to sand that all the way. If you sand that all the way, you've gotten rid of all of the surface oxidation. So OxyClean doesn't really do anything to help you, or nor does bleach. It just gives you a gauge of how deep you need the sand. Beyond that, you know, if, it, if it's moderately oxidized, I sand it. I start at 220 grit, 
and I work my way to uh, 800 grit and then I'll switch over to micro mesh pads if, if need be. <clears throat> so why change that? Well, sometimes I get stems like this and this is one I'm working on right now. Hopefully you can see the you know, nice sharp edges on that. Uh, the bottom has actually got an extra facet. And this is not a simple shape and it matches up with the stumble of a similar shape. So any change in this is going to be very quickly noticed, right? So even just taking a, th a fine layer off of this is going to probably create a noticeable transition between the stumble and the stem. And I'd like to avoid that if it possible. And hopefully you can see there's some very deep oxidation on this. Uh, if you look right down in this area here, you can see some of it all through here. That's the stuff that doesn't go along here. That doesn't sand out easily. So I figured before I completely ruin the stem, not ruin it, but change the shape of it, and you know, there's ways to deal with that, but let me try something uh, new. So tested it out on my own pipe yesterday, waited for the pro version to arrive. Now we'll drop this in there today and see how it works. And I'll let you know. So you gotta you gotta keep improving, you know. At least I shouldn't say you have to. I have to. You know if I work out my pipe repair methods to the point where I'm doing I know exactly what I'm gonna do when the pipe comes in the door. Oh, this pipe has an oxidized stem. That's a 14-step process. It'll take me 2.7 hours, and uh, you know, I, that, that's factory work. I don't want to do that. Nobody wants to do that. I like to think about everything I do, everything I do, as a an opportunity to improve. Another way to look at it is I like to think of it as a puzzle that I have to solve. Um, you know, that's one of the reasons I got into the to the field I, I, I work in is because, you know, I love I love puzzles. I love and I'm not a big fan of like, you know, riddles and, and, and things like that. I, 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 I try them and, you know, I enjoy them to the extent that a person enjoys them, but it's not like I go crazy for for trivial puzzles. I really like puzzles that lead to some progress. And that progress might be in in a scientific endeavor. It might be in a uh, you know making a work process better. Um, maybe even like growing something in the garden differently, or having more tomatoes this year than last year. You know, I just I just like puzzling things out. And of course, of course, you have to test your R and D, which is why I'm, I did this on my stab, and I'm smoking it. I mean, I knew the smoking was going to be okay. I was just, I didn't know if the oxidation is going to come back very quickly. But so far, so good. So today. Uh, the best laid plans. I uh, should have done stuff yesterday, but I had other things going on. Uh, really got to get the garden ready. Got to got to get yard more yard cleanup has to be done before the lawn mowing season really hits. Uh, got to get some grass seed down. I got a lot of stuff I got to do, but I'm not going to do it in the rain. So instead, I'm going to play with this. I'll let you know next week how it works. Take some before and after pictures. <clears throat> hopefully, um, 
hopefully it'll it'll work well and then i'll have to spend some time trying to understand how in the world it could work you know that's that's the challenge i know it does you know i, I know because other people have tried it and have reported favorably on it so i know it works i, I just i don't know how Take a leap of faith, I suppose. <clears throat> well, folks, I've burned up enough of your Sunday. Friday night, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, we're interviewing uh, Pierre George Jensen. Pierre George Jensen, there we go, from uh, McBaron Tobacco. And uh, I think you're going to really enjoy that. So please uh, tune in Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be a, be a fantastic show. And of course, you'll have the opportunity to ask pair his um, or questions about anything you know. um, except we're, we're not going to let dude rustica monopolize the conversation by asking 7,000 rustica questions uh, like how can I get more rustica can you ship the rustica directly to me you know those kinds of things if, if you know Steve you know why that's funny Enjoy your Sunday, folks. I might be back on Wednesday. If not, I will see you Friday night. Until we speak again, I'll look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.